Okay, can I have everyone's attention, please? Thank you so much for staying. I, I hope you're enjoying the pie. Well, I have to tell you the story of the pie. Um, this, this organization is um, indirectly connected to another wonderful organization called the Schizophrenia Society of Ontario, the SSO, who helps people who are living with mental illness. You, probably, you know that primarily that's what our club is for, but we welcome all kinds of supporters and members, and our poetry readings are probably the most um, well attended a variety of people from all walks of life. This always happens. I start talking and I forget. I, so many words, I forget where I start. Pie. Pie. Oh, the pie story. Exactly. Thank you, yeah, David. Yeah, the pie story. Yeah. The SSO one day, the excellent Mr. Bill Bissett called me on the phone and said, David, David, excellent, excellent. We have all these pies and no fruit and apples and bananas and a taxi. I'm taking them over to the clubhouse. Come over and meet me and we'll give, give them to everybody. So I came over and... Um, and the fridge was full. I put, I filled the fridge full, and I thought, no one, if I don't, no one's going to take these fr this fruit in time. So I came here, and I made about eight pies and four loaves, eight bro loaves of banana bread, and I'd never baked in my life. And that was nice. But the best part of the story is, I was wearing tight shoes, and I stood for five hours, and my right toenail turned black, and it just finally fell off about three days ago. I saved it. I plan to um, photograph it and make an installation somewhere. <laughs> I forget what I... Tone, t still life with toenail or something. So that's the story of the fruit. I guess the toenail doesn't make it very appetizing, but the toenail came was not anywhere near the pie. <laughs> They've been cooking for hours, so they stare out. Don't worry. So uh, now that you've um, humored me and listened to my beautiful fruit story, with no further ado, our final guest of the evening, and please stay around after and finish the pie and chat and do whatever you like. Um, but before that, we want to hear the beautiful singing voice and speaking voice of her own music and her own poetry, the ever fabulous Miss Honey Nova. So I'd like to, um, I'd like to end with the. Uh, with a song called uh, um, Adio Querido. And uh, the words in English basically say, um, Goodbye, my dear. I'm so happy to know you. You have enriched my life. Your mother, when she brought you to this world, she gave you a heart that loves much. Now you seek other passions. Now you knock on other doors. Now you flame other fires, but for me, you exist. And I would like to dedicate it to those that have uh, graced our lives and then gone. I had the experience once upon a time working with Dick Clark, so I'd like to include this for him as well as for many others. <clears throat> Adio, Adio. Dear. 
you so much for listening. Thank you so much, honey. That was beautiful. Thank you, David. Thank you for your beautiful words and song. It was a wonderful way to, to end the evening.